Is there any specific diet to treat Parkinson's disease based on the literature? This is our topic today. My name is Dr. Sayas. I am an internist, neurologist, specialized in movement disorders. There are a few things in life that you have control. One of them is the amount of exercise, how much physical activity you perform per day. And the other one is what you eat. Unfortunately, there's no magic diet for Parkinson's disease or Alzheimer's disease. And by the way, all of these recommendations that I'm going to talk apply to everybody, every, every person who wants to have a healthy brain. Check this study published in 2021, Mind and Mediterranean Diets Associated with Later Onset of Parkinson's Disease. This was on, a, on observational study from Canada with 167 patients, 167 patients with Parkinson's disease. This group found that if you follow the MIND diet, and I will tell you later, what is that? Actually, more than the Mediterranean diet, it is more likely, when I say more likely, I mean uh, there is a, an association to delay the onset of Parkinson's disease, especially females. By the way, it is not, uh, it, this is not the best evidence, but this is the best we have so far in the setting of Parkinson. Probably a lot of recall bias, which is not good, but most of the study available in dietary research are like that. In my opinion, these two diets are the best for your brain based on the limited amount of uh, data that we have. Especially the MIND diet. Uh, this diet is easy to follow and is not strict, not too painful. With this diet, you just need to eat what they recommend, uh, which are 10 type of food that I will discuss later, and to avoid or at least limit the amount of what they discourage, which are five type of food. This diet, the MIND diet, was initially uh, designed to minimize the cognitive decline in patients with Alzheimer's, since there is also an association between this diet and lower memory decline in, uh, in observational study, approximately 50%, which is pretty good. Now let's talk about what actually is MIND diet. So MIND diet, MIND stands for Mediterranean Intervention for Neurodegenerative Delay. And this diet is a combination of two very popular diets, the Mediterranean diet and what we call DASH, which stands for Dietary approaches to stop hypertension. This is why the MIND diet is so similar to Mediterranean diet, except that MIND diet encourages more berries and nuts and minimize fruits, all the fruits, uh, except the berries, uh, potatoes and milk. The DASH diet is similar to the Mediterranean diet as well, but limit the amount of salt and alcohol. Uh, whereas the Mediterranean diet and the MIND diet, al salt is not even mentioned. Uh, and it's okay to drink alcohol in MIND diet and Mediterranean diet. Um, basically, uh, wine, wine, red wine. Let's talk now about what to eat in the MIND diet. So they recommend 10 type of food. Number one is daily green leafy vegetable. And I will tell you that the only way I will eat uh, green vegetable is with, uh, with a good dressing. And the best dressing is the one that you make at home. And actually, this is the recipe. Very easy to, to make this at home. And it tastes pretty good, at least for me. Number two, other non-leafy vegetable like pepper, carrots, there, there are many. And when I say most days, I mean at least five days per week, okay? Number three, berries, at least twice per week, not most days. When I say most days, it's at least five days per week. 
olive oil. So if you are going to cook and you will use oil, if you are going to use oil, use olive oil. And most, most days. You can actually use the olive oil to integrate into salad dressing as well. Number six, whole grains, at least three servings daily. And uh, I don't know if you guys are aware, but actually popcorn is a whole grain. So if you want a snack, this is the best way uh, to keep your weight under control and you are eating your daily uh, whole grain. Fish at least once a week. That's number seven. Number eight, beans at least three to four days per week. Number nine, chicken and or turkey at least two days per week. Per, per week. Nothing fried. And if you are going to fry something, again, use the olive oil. But try to eat uh, fried food. Number 10, wine, red wine, mostly red wine more than white. One glass per day. However, and this is a question mark. This is what I put here, a question mark, because in the setting of Parkinson's disease, if you are having significant balance issues or any walking issues, I don't think it's, it's going to be a good idea because your brain is not going to be able to compensate and you might fall. So be careful with the, with the amount of alcohol if you have issues walking. If your symptoms of Parkinson are very mild and you don't have any issue with your balance or you're walking, then drinking a one glass of uh, uh, wine, especially red wine, is okay. So what to avoid in the mind diet? So they discourage five types of food. Number one, bottle and margarine. No more than a tablespoon, less than a tablespoon, or at least a tablespoon daily, no more than that. The other four, just no more than one time, one day per week. I'm talking about cheese, red meat, fried food, and sweets. Try to limit the amount of this type of food. Remember, it's very important to combine this diet with a good exercise program. You need to get out of your comfort zone. Otherwise, things are not going to work well. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. See you soon.